see if I can get this to work. All right, now I got a great big word up there. I'm gonna to get to that in a minute. But first, I want you to imagine that you have a cloak of invisibility. Well, no, wait, maybe not a cloak of invisibility. Nobody really wears cloaks anymore. Well, except for those guys we saw earlier, maybe. I wouldn't want to get hit with a, another briefcase. Um, and, uh, well, what would be modern? Uh, a hoodie, a hoodie of invisibility. That's what we need. Well, in Florida, you don't really want to be invisible all sweaty and everything. Plus, you know, hoodies seem to have a habit of being bad luck for your uh, investments. So I would skip, skip the hoodie altogether. So a ring, a ring of invisibility. And I want you to think what you would do with that ring of invisibility. What would be the, the first thing that you would do with this ring? Uh, Spine your neighbors, steal from the cookie jar at work, from the bank. Well, this is actually one of the questions that goes back a long ways. You know, uh, that was the ring of power, the uh, artist rendition uh, that everybody knows from uh, J.R.R. Tolkien's book. But uh, uh, his ring is based on uh, the ring of Gyges. The ring of Gyges is a story that is in um, uh, uh, the uh, work of uh, Plato uh, called Republic. Uh, he has a brother that tells a story. And his brother tells the story of Gyges, who is a noble man, who's a shepherd. And this shepherd um, is known as, he's, he's a good guy, people trust him, everybody likes him. He's tending the flock, and earthquake happens. Cave opens up, goes in the cave, and he finds this warrior. And this, the skeleton of a warrior, and has a ring on. So he goes over and he, he takes the ring off, hey, free ring, puts it on, and he finds out that when he twists the ring, he becomes invisible. So the next thing that Gyges does is he gets a job reporting to the um, king about the flocks. Well, now he's got this, this ring. And so his next motivations are actually to use it. So what does this man do? He comes into the castle, seduces the queen, kills the king, marries the queen, becomes the king himself. So before that happened, everybody would have thought of him as a moral man. But given this great power, it seemed to have corrupted him, and he became a very immoral man. And he took as much power as he could. Now, it's believed that uh, we invent things to, to make us uh, moral people, that we're all kind of savage. And Glaucon, um, Plato's brother, is kind of postulating that that we are only moral because of society, that in fact we've invented things to make us moral. But um, maybe, maybe not. Uh, he says that if we gave two rings, one to a moral man, one to an immoral man, they would both end up being the same man. Now, these inventions that we have, well, maybe not that one, this one, that uh, he knows if you've been bad or good, so be good for goodness sake, uh, we, we create these things so that we can um, make sure our children behave uh, because then somebody's always watching. Now, the problem is, is we have the internet. And the internet is where you can all be anonymous. You can all be invisible. You can all use your ring of invisibility. Now, the disinhibitation effect, which was uh, my first slide, is, is um, kind of cap um, captured in these. Uh, uh, a few points here. You don't know me, so you're on the internet, nobody really knows who you are. I'm invisible, meaning that I can just show up, nobody sees me, I materialize, see you later. That's the disconnection on time. You can go in, you can do something, you can disappear. It's all in my head. It's not real, right? You know, it's just, we're just thinking, we're just talking about it, and it's all a game. This is one of the most important ones. Now, if I was to tell you that I just killed orcs, that I'd uh, just stormed a castle, one of two things occurred. I was either playing a game or I'd lost my mind and was having a fantasy. Um, now, this has happened before. We have had uh, events where we did have some form of anonymity in public. Uh, in Venice, there was a period in, in time, uh, uh, just over 300 years ago, where it was common to wear these masks in public. So what happened when everybody could be anon anonymous? Well. Everybody was prosperous, so there's this large middle class, so it became more acceptable for people to talk. Yet the culture of the day made it so you really couldn't just talk to the lower classes. So what they did is they wore these masks, and then people would end up interacting. 
with each other in, in ways where they were equals. Well, the problem was is that isn't where it ended. That's where it began. Where it ended were, were people started to misbehave. People started to uh, get more rowdy, uh, more promiscuous. Uh, they would be drunk more often. In fact, they had to pass a law that you could not enter a convent with a mask on. Even the clergy was coming out in public dressed like this. Well, you'd say, well, that's the old times. What about modern times? CB radio in the 70s. Uh, there were problems where, you know, well, the regular CB radio was truckers talking about, you know, Smokies and their uh, uh, speed traps. You had kids talking about homework. But then you had people who were reading pornography on the uh, um, radio waves. You had people who wanted to annoy people, to interrupt conversations. They'd start playing polka and banjo music every time somebody was trying to have a conversation just because. So what is a troll? Maybe you've seen this uh, picture before. Now, the, the thing is, yeah, somebody right there, he knows what that is. Um, now, a troll is somebody who wants to disrupt your story. Doesn't that make you mad just seeing that? You're doing it wrong. <laughs> they want to... They want to interrupt the story. So whatever it is you're doing, they kind of want to get in the way and ruin it, and take the fun out of it. That's their fun, is to ruin what you're doing. So say you're uh, one of these people that likes to look at pictures of cats, it's the internet, uh, where you have objects placed on them. There's a site called Things on My Cat. People put pic uh, cheese and photographs and things like that, and they take pictures, they put it, I don't know why, but people love this stuff. The trolls will go in and they'll, they'll try to just ruin it. They'll, take all, they'll suck all the fun out of it, for those people that like that thing. Um, and uh, they'll, they'll try to do it to hurt your feelings, to ruin your day. That's their whole point. It's to disrupt what's going on. That's one of the worst things you can do is to try to destroy a community. And they do it because of this disconnection. Now, I'm a data scientist and I'm looking for ways to try to find these guys. It's very, it's very hard because it's all text. Computer can't tell you what you intended to say or why you said it. So it's very hard for us to find this stuff. We have patterns that we can look for, dirty words, and you know, uh, there's certain things we can block links to, to um, blacklisted sites. The trolls will put in gore pictures, pornography in places where it doesn't belong. Uh, they'll, they'll try to engage you in an argument. And the one thing that you really need to do is not engage the trolls. We use the term, don't feed the trolls. That means don't argue with the trolls. But what we do want you to do to help us all out is to actually vote. Looks like my slide got uh, bumped a little bit up here, sorry. Um, what we want you to do is vote down things that are bad but don't comment on them. T if you go to TED.com, you'll see there are trolls on TED. They're just trying to pick a fight with you. Vote them down, don't engage them. Content that's bad, vote it down, let it go. Now, Glaucon you know, made his point, of course, that every man is really a savage if he's given the power of society he's not watching. However, as you read Republic, you see Socrates actually commented that that's not the case. That in fact, um, a just man will not abuse the power. A just man will decide that he's not going to be a slave to his baser needs and ruin everything. He, in fact, uh, can avoid those things because in his heart he knows he's good. And instead of being a villain, he can be a superhero. So all of you have the ability to go on the internet and actually make it a place worth living on, there, uh, a place where we can have a sense of community. And I want you to vote down those trolls and don't engage them and it will be a better internet and better stories for all of us in the future. Thank you. <laughs>